Yeah. So you, yeah. you brought up Midwest. I got to ask because the people are going to want to know what happened with that deal. I mean, I've known both you guys a long, long time and consider you both pretty good friends. So I got to know from the outside looking in for these viewers, what happened with that deal? I mean, there, there's, there's a long story and there's a, there's a simple story, you know? TRC race fans, it's J-Rod. We're out here in Oklahoma. We're in the great 405 once again. From 2021 and beyond, we're gonna be bringing you guys some really good content. Obviously, for those that know, 187 Customs, we're at Murder Nova's house today. He's got some insane stuff. We're gonna be taking some rides in. We're gonna show you everything that he's got in the shop. Some of his future plans with No Prep Kings and some street outlaw gossip. So you guys don't wanna miss this feature. to make 70 pounds of boots. We just didn't want to break the throttle body or something stupid, you know? Having that weird surge back. And everybody told me it would do it. The OG cars still don't have blow off out. I wouldn't stand there. your rx7 didn't sound like that no it sounds a little uh, more brappy but it definitely still burns your eyes methanol is a little stronger than uh, e100 this is danny parker uh, aka phantom i feel like uh everybody's seen him around anybody who knows me probably seen this guy around he's been with me for f i don't even know how 15 long. years he was a baby he couldn't even grow a beard then you know so, and he had hair on top so you know we, we've been around for a while he does he does everything for me you know he manages your social media and your new youtube stuff he right he does all my youtube stuff 187 customs he does uh, all the editing he does all the filming whenever we go race the car he gets it ready in between rounds Uh, you know, Aiden, when he's around and he's not, you know, being a kid, playing baseball and stuff, that's why he's not here today. And then my dad, but the majority of the time, it's Phantom doing all that stuff, you know, so, so that I can be me. Whenever I get out of the car, I got to go make the fans and everybody happy, you know, and in between rounds, he cools the car off, does anything that we need to do to it, you know, so he's, he's uh, right there co-signing all the bad decisions yeah. that I make. You know, so I did a little more than hold the GoPro. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little more about the car. So what's the new setup on the new no prep from the um, car? Basically, the setup hasn't changed. Uh, we definitely 
But for those that don't know the setup, yeah, the TRC it's fan still, base. It's still the pro line uh, small block. You know, you got you got to kind of do this right here when you say small block because it is a big small block. Four five bore space deal. It's 482 cubic inch, but it is a small block. It's it's small block based. Did you do that to keep weight off the car? Or? That's that's why we originally did it is because, in my opinion, those turbos don't care what size that motor is, and you being a a Supra guy, you know, or a, a rotary guy, any, any kind of import that doesn't have a lot of cubic inches, but a big turbo. The, the, the turbo dis, decides how much power that thing's gonna make. The engine's just a pump, and we wanted a, a small and a light pump. You know, we got the motor back a little bit further. <laughs> just a little bit. We, we knew at the time when we were building this car that we were gonna go down some sketchy streets, you know, and now, we're not really racing on those sketchy shit streets. We tried setting this car up a lot like the other car, which didn't work, you know? Hell, it didn't work on the other car. The motor on the OG is way up here in front of the spindle. Okay. So so the center of gravity of this car is much further back. <laughs> oh, way, way further. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're about, at one point in time, we were 42 on the nose of this car. Oh, shit. And we thought, man, this thing's gonna go down anything. <laughs> and if we, and it, it did. And then just lit the tires. Bit. And then after that, it's just driving hard left. We figured out pretty quick and everybody wanted to know what was wrong with it because we have figured it out now. But we set this car up to have a lot of bite in it. We thought streets, we need bite. Well, the car is built with bite in it. So the four link didn't need the bite that we were putting to it. So what it did was it had so much bite in the car, it lifted the front end up instantly, never set it down, and then it would roll the car. And when it rolled the car, man, it just went left. We did everything. We, we, at one point, we had almost an inch of rear steer in this car trying to get it to go right instead of left. But the, the rotation of the four link was overcoming that. We Makes could sense. point him at the curb before he launched and it would just still almost yeah. want to try to cross center. Before. And the bad thing about that is, is these cars are getting so fast now. It doesn't matter if we're on the track, it doesn't matter if we're on the street, pretty much you got to point them oh, the way that you're going to go. This car at the track, it's still, uh, we're close to 50-50, uh, and we still have to put weight on the nose to keep it down. Otherwise, it'll wheelie the whole 660. So we know small block base motor. What turbos, what fuel system, computer, transmission, converter setups? Walk us through that. Okay, I'll start here at the front. Uh, it's got air motor fuel system like we run on everything. Uh, this this right here is, uh, what, a 20, 21 gallon? It's a 20 gallon per minute pump. Yeah, so, and we've never... Mechanical? Yes, yes. It, it runs off the cam and we've never had any issues with the fuel system and we started running uh, aeromotive a long time ago and they've been with us ever since that's because i knew they've been aboard with we, your program we, for a long time we even run all their stuff in in like the man van and you know all, all of our stuff and the injectors look quite large the injectors man in the scheme of things the injectors are actually pretty little compared to everybody else who Run. who runs things like uh do you have eight or like, 16. i've got 16. Okay. but one set is just 225s and then the second set is 550s break that down to like import stuff so, 550s that's like a 2000 cc injector uh, um, a 550 would be uh, like a 500 or 5000 cc okay and then the the 225s would be like a 2200 cc. okay on methanol and, and they're precision injectors and a, a lot of people don't even realize that precision makes injectors and a lot of people run you know like the twin 700 atomizers that's a lot of that's a much. ton of fuel okay those guys that have all them don't make much more power than what we do. So we, we've never really seen the, the sense in, in running those and... We don't have to do near the maintenance they do either. I mean, no. these have had methanol sitting on You know, without it. talking about somebody else's injectors. Sure, sure. These injectors these, right, these here right here are the best. These right here, no, they're the best. I don't care. They would have, hey, I'll talk, hey, it's 2021. I'm gonna, I'll talk a little bit of shit. Yeah. <laughs> these injectors right here are the best that anybody needs. And the methanol is M5 or M1? Uh, this right here is M1. We have ran M5 in this car, but once we kind of convert it over, and we've only been to one MPK, right. uh, M5 is illegal for some reason. Just, I'm not real sure. They didn't want us to have it, and basically- Do they sniff your tank though? Oh yeah, no, they, they don't sniff, they, don't, they check that they, motherfucker. They like they full they blown check the weight, everything. they check everything about Pull it. Pull the compressor yeah. covers off the turbos, mic on that oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like World Cup final stuff. Yep. If you can, you're gonna cheat. Like you said earlier, man, we're, we're men, we wanna win. And, and if cheating is involved in that, I won't think twice about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's an ugly word though. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just yeah. looking for great areas of the rules. I was like, there's two bad C words, cheating right? Yeah, yeah.
I don't even know if either one of them are bad. So but obviously I see fuel tech on board. Oh, fuel tech's always on board. Everything, everything we have is fuel tech. So whenever I get out of this car, at, at some point, whenever we had the OG, we had three different boxes to download. That's out of control whenever you can do everything on one page. Yeah, fuel techs, so, leaps and bounds. And they're a Brazilian based company, right? Yes, and we actually went down there to their- Yeah, you and Dave went base. down there, right? Yes. You got to drop some imports. And man, it was amazing. Yes, that the import was one of the, I mean, I still got the, I tattooed my, my wrist from the car that the guy let me drive. That's awesome. You know, and what power we, plant was it? A rotary or two J or man? It was a, it was an inline six RB or it no, it's a Chevy based motor. Oh, cool. Yeah, like the stock ones that come out in those. I was on my way to making the fastest pass ever from an Opala and it overboosted and shut it down. So anyways, uh, you know, yes, fuel tech's on board. They always are, precision's always on board. Uh, Race Part Solution is, is a cool dude that we always hang out with Wade. You know, he comes to the track, he's got good support, you know, and any kind of uh, stuff like this right here. Yeah, these, these clamps right are great because they just oh, swivel dude. and they it's can move so, a little bit. It's so nice. We, we like to put those on anything, so. So who did the chassis work? I know Don Dow does the stuff on the Don old Dial, one, right? Well, Don Dow built this whole chassis. And then after that, we made a few changes. Uh, we moved the motor back. And then since then, we have front half the car. You know, things change. Whenever we first built this deal, we, we wanted it kind of like the OG with A-arms on the front. And when we cut all that and the stock frame rails off of it, we lost 100 pounds. Wow. You know, so off right now with me in the car, eh, just a little under 2,700. So, and what tire? 36? So we, we run a 36. Uh, so... That's it's there's not a bigger one. Yeah, that's a big boy. So we got Bogart wheels on the back. They're uh, 18 wide for that that big wheel. That's uh, a big boy. Tire. And transmission is uh, it a we Rossler? Rossler? We we run Rosslers. It's that's kind of like Fuel Tech, man. We're not going to build a race car without a Rossler in it. Just like we're not going to build a race car without Fuel Tech. Pro Torque. Uh, the Mark Mickey shifter is, is, is amazing. Like we have, we've done this stuff enough that we've kind of weeded out the stuff that we don't like. Yep. And this car has pretty much everything on it that we love. And it works. Yes. I mean, obviously, yes. it's an end goal. It's where you want it. Obviously, you always want to go faster. I know you probably can't tell us how fast it's been, but how fast has it been? It's been down in the threes quite a bit. We, we went to the track uh, three, four months ago with it. Last time we actually had the car out, we made 10 passes. The first one we aborted because the car didn't go straight. And then we did a little bit more stuff to the chassis. And after that, nine passes in, the ro in a row that were all in the threes. Wow. That's solid. So, and, it, and it's went sub, sub one to the 60 foot. And it's been, you know. So what you're saying is everybody on No Prep Kings is on notice. Uh, I mean, it's definitely going to be a front runner. If I can get my shit together, cut a good light, which, you know, we've been practicing on. <laughs> cut a good light. I think I can out 60 foot most of them. So when uh, are you guys supposed to pick that up again? I know it's kind of been on halt with COVID, and, right? Yeah, it's, it's tough to say. We still don't have a schedule. We're probably going to hit a, a pro mod race here pretty soon with it and just take it out and see. And if we do that, then the times are going to be out there anyways. You know, so we're, we're actually having a spare engine built right now. That way we can lean on it a little bit harder. You know, we made, we've made 70 pounds of boost and I think we can make more. Can you tell us how much horsepower it makes? It made 3,700 at the tires. And that All is on a 70 pounds of boost. A hub dyno, right? Not hub, an actual, yeah, chassis. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dan I assume at, at Fuel, Fuel Tech, Tech with Luis tuning it. So I know in the past, Chief's done all your tuning. Now you have Luis and Fuel Tech. How's that progressing? I mean, do you feel like Chief does a better job on the street? Luis is a track guy. Um, well, it's 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 just different. There's there's different types of tuning. Once the motor is tuned, like what what Fuel Tech did and Luis did for me, then I can take it and the power management is what Chief is really good at. Oh yeah, he's uh, awesome. He, I, I don't think. Uh, just being honest here, not because, you know, we used to be good buddies. He's one of the best at reading a road and putting in how much power that road's going to handle. I agree. He's been doing so it for a long time. I mean, that's how time. I met you guys, right? I mean, we met you the night, like 2006. He got on a local forum and made a call out and I was the only dumb son <laughs> to answer him. <laughs> I had a twin turbo 3000 GT and you guys were in the Chevelle and we good raced time, and man. roll raced and he blew the intersection with four wheel drum brakes and I paid some money and well, we became buddies. Yeah, oh, like I know. He said he had four wheel oh, drum I know. brakes. <laughs> that was some sketchy shit. I remember Flip coming up and goes, you're a crazy fucking white boy. Mark Williams, modular rear end in this deal. Chris Bell has has not only really helped us out with the shock situation but man he's i consider him a pretty good friend he's a good dude you know he's he's a really good guy and anytime i i need some help he he, he gives me advice and trust me i've called him for advice not about race cars any nitrous on board nope not on this car not on this one i know nitrous is a big part of your life so it's kind of weird to see a car without it a nitrous is, tank in it it is but uh this one honestly if, if i needed nitrous i would just put a little bit more boost to it we did recently just put a uh, NX kit on the on the OG car. Well, we went out of town and man, it was rough up there with the altitude. And is that in Nebraska? School, up in Nebraska. Uh, the stuff that's actually on TV right now is the stuff that we did up in Nebraska. And uh, it was tough to spool. And, and you can even watch the, the mega cash days that, that Boosted's doing right now. And he starts off like this right here and everybody, it wasn't just us that was having problems, everybody. And then all of a sudden he starts doing this right here because he's because nobody can spool. Yeah, you know, I'm not getting up on the chip at all. No, when no. you get up so, in that altitude, it's so tough. So I told Boosted, I said, hey, look, I promise you the next time I race, that shit will be fixed. And we went and we put a, a 50 shot in on, just on a button. So I roll up there, as soon as I stab it, I grab it and it was Comes instant. Comes instant, yep. yep. That's what we do with the Supra. I mean, small motor, big turbo, it takes quite a bit of nitrous to come up on it, but once it's there, you're good. There's a reason that they don't tell you everything on Street Outlaws. There's a reason that we got the old car back out. And it was because last summer we had this car out and, and we're just making some easy passes and we broke a rod. Oh, like shit. literally on a 420 pass. Aluminum rod? Oh yeah. Granted, we run a lot of passes on rods and some people's programs are a little bit different than ours. Uh, so how many is a lot of passes to you guys, 100? I've, I've ran 300 on this motor before. Holy but shit. that was bef definitely before we were making 70 pounds of boost. I won't do that anymore because it did tear a lot of stuff up whenever it broke, but I still believe even running what I do right now, we're gonna run 50, 60 passes on rods. You know, we, we've tightened our program up a little bit, but the, you know, getting back to what I was saying, the, the reason that we brought the OG back out is because whenever we broke that rod, we hurt the crank. And when you hurt the crank on something like this, that's 14 weeks, no matter how you look at it. Yes, all this stuff is one off. I should have had a spare, which I do now. We tried to send the crank off to get it fixed. And that was even what, cause they still got to nitrate took, it. Even if they fix it, that deal took longer than what it took to get the new crank in. Uh, this is a Bryant build, billet deal, four and a quarter stroke. Four or five bore space is what makes it so tough. So, and, and you can't get camshafts, like nothing for this deal. And so I was the moron that built. So you can't grab a Jags and order parts? No, 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 we've tried, You've, we've tried. But I was the moron that built a one-off piece and then didn't get extra parts. So, but hopefully pretty soon we'll have the, the, the spare motor ready to go. You know, knock on wood, we've been pretty lucky with this deal. Like I said, Luis has, has nailed the tune pretty good, and now it's just our job to, to get it down whatever surface is in front of us. It's going to be cool to see the car progress. If there's only, you know, a handful of passes, you guys already went off into the threes. Like, it's going to be really cool to see where the progression with the car goes, where No Prep King goes, and where motorsports in general go, how fast cars are truly getting. Like, no, would you say 10 years ago you were going threes? Like, that's no, crazy. No. I mean, 10 years ago, I think we were the only people running fours. Yeah, and we were doing it with the Pro Charger and a carburetor. Yeah. We're running 470s, you know, we're out there beating our chest, you ten, know. Ten Can't ago, do it on the street. Almost a full second slower. Yes, yeah. yes. But as far as progression goes on this car, man, Steve Petty is the finish line. You know what I mean? So I'm not real sure that we're going to go out and go faster than the number that he went you know, why he was tuning this down there. I learned a lot from him as, as well as I learned a lot from Chief all them years. You know, you, you don't, 
hang out with somebody as smart as him and not learn anything. And pick anything up. Yes. Yep. That's so, cool. And that's, that's the reason that it was so easy for me. And believe it or not, I tuned my own car for what? A year before I even left Midwest? Mm -hmm. For probably the last year. But I always had him that I could go to. You know, there for a while, I started feeling bad because it, it wasn't fair for me to take away from his program by asking him to help me with mine. So you, you brought up Midwest, I gotta ask, because the people are gonna wanna know, what happened with that deal? I mean, I've known both you guys a long, long time and consider you both pretty good friends, so I gotta know from the outside looking in for these viewers, what happened with that deal? I mean, there, there's, there's a long story and there's a, there's a simple story, you know? And the simple story is, is we're, we're headed down different paths. You know, uh, people in America get divorces every day. And when you're a, a business partner and a good friend the way that we were, that's what it was, man, was a divorce. <laughs> race, race. He's a race car, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a car. I'm an automotive enthusiast. I'm not gonna spend 24 seven working on this car right here, you know, because I have this car and this car and this truck and the man van and, and everything your son, else that I wanna do. Family. And my son and my family and my son and my family come first over everything. I'll get rid of everything that I own for my family. You know, it is what it is. Uh, he's doing good, I'm doing good. Uh, I feel like it was a good decision, you know? So you guys were together I, a long time. No doubt, no doubt. And I, and I learned a lot and you know, uh, if he was here, he would tell you that he learned a lot from me, you know? And there's no ill will there at all. I, I wanna see him succeed as I'm sure he wants to see me succeed. With that being said, my program has, has went Elevated. to here. Broke out the OG, broke it out. Uh, from the dead, because we said like, this car is non-competitive. Because Danny was driving it on small tire for a yes. while, right? Yes. Yeah, it was still on small tire. We had to swap it back to big tires. We, we swapped it back out. to big tire. What do you think? That was a pretty good pass. Uh, That's training fluid in it. Yeah, a little bit. We've obviously loved Donks for a long time, and uh, we've had this one, and we actually brought this car from the other side of the shop over here, started measuring, getting the ride height, because this is, this is where I like them to ride. We were gonna start pulling it apart, cutting it up. I couldn't do it. I love this car. So this is the car that, that we road tripped from Oklahoma to Florida in and back. We went out there and watched a, a donk street race. So what you're saying is you're gonna get in the big tire, big wheel racing, I should say. I'd like to try it out for sure. I think that we can go out and we can make a statement. The technology from this car in one of those. Be wild. Yeah. How are you gonna plant that? little bitty rubber band tire because you can't that, well that's the deal i'm gonna smash, I'm gonna smash <laughs> it just like a radio i mean because that's what it, at the end of the day that's what that thing is it's a radial <laughs> we got the hood sitting on them that's still a big tire right that's a 305 26. it's a it's a wide tire there's not a whole lot of sidewall there and in my opinion sidewall is what gives you hook the stock on them things is a triangulated four link man you don't get much better than mustang suspension you know but the cars are 51 5200 pounds I don't plan on that being anywhere close to that when I get done with it. And what power plant, LS? We went and picked up, uh, we showed this on our YouTube. Uh, we went to Texas Speed and picked up a 427 of theirs and we'll put a 94 millimeter turbo on it. And of course it'll have a Rossler. We'll probably just put a 400 in that car. Man, we just love the culture. And that's what we've said a couple of times is, is car culture, we love it. Hell, I even like the imports you, you f with. <laughs> I don't have any yet, but that's not because hey uh, but, but you I gotta like you gotta say this we shocked the world when we won armageddon in a supra oh well, yeah i think it's awesome yeah. especially and, and and the way that you're doing that here is not a lot of people doing it just like the way i want to roll with a race dunk yep. there's not a lot of people here doing it you know yep it's cool so so the original old white truck i saw a big ass turbo hanging off the front of that let's go take a look at that well this right here is all Phantom, so I'll let him tell you about this. This turbo uh, looks well used. Is it recycled? Uh, no, 
No. Like, how long do we use that? I mean, they they probably got 10 passes on them. Yeah, so. we, haven't, we haven't used it very long. And that's long. including dyno time. Yes. Okay. This was actually on this car, and the other one that we have for it will be the one that goes on on the dump. So, uh, Texas Speed Base Motor? No, this one, it's a... Uh, by uh, McDougal. Uh, okay. Fire racing engines. It's a 402 cubic inch. It's an LS2 block, uh, four inch crank and rods and pistons from Summit Racing. 480. Uh huh. It'll have a Rossler 480, the 94 Pro Mod Precision, uh, all stainless works piping, race parts solutions, aluminum. It's got a Fuel Tech FT 550 on it. Quick performance rear end, Bogart wheels, all yep. the liquid all air the, intercooler. All, all, all the stuff that we always run, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go check out the uh, the main van. Where's it at? Okay. That's a pretty big deal. Yep. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. We had to, I mean, we ran out of room. So this is why we built this. We don't have electric in here or anything yet. So. Just storage. I know it's been a while. It's a nitrous blower car? Um, yes, yeah. It's just, it's a Texas Speed short block uh, with AFR heads on it. It's got a 2.9 Whipple. Ooh, okay. It's got nitrous on top of that. So uh, we're not spinning the blower very hard. You can see how how big the pulley is. The pulley is. But uh, it makes about 14 pounds of boost. And on 14 pounds of boost, it made uh, 900. On tires. boost only? On boost only. And then you hit it with how much on top? We hit it with 100 shot and it picked up 230 to the tires. It's still got full full leather seats, everything that came from the factory in this deal. It's and it weighs, SS, so it's, it's a 3SS. Oh, it's so all the bells everything. and whistles. Yeah, So and it actually weighed, uh, what, 4880 with me in it. That's a heavy and it's been 920s. Well, let's hear it up. Let's start the bitch up. I want to hear this thing. 920s. Again, we, I have, uh, we yeah, choked it just down. dawned on me. We choked it down quite a bit because I'm old, man. I don't like everything being in, in your in your face loud. Hear that fuel pump? That's how you know it's gonna work. Yep. Sounds great. It's not. It's not like overbearing loud. No. It's. It's pretty loud when you get on it. Oh, I bet. But it's got all stainless work, Loki, Loki made the exhaust on it. Yeah. Every car got to have a helmet in it, right? Yep. I wasn't expecting that. God damn, look at those black marks. <laughs> it's been a minute since I drove this thing. Yeah, this thing's a riot. Dude, it's it's a good time, man. How about the blower, it though? Makes all the right noises the whole time. Man, that's gonna be a good one, right in front of my driveway. Oh yeah, they never did that one. It's it got a sunroof. It's got a 275 slit uh, radio on like the back. Like a pro bracket radio. Or? It's a pro bracket. Yeah. We're gonna hit it. All right, do it. doing the whole uh, turn off and neutral driving thing because yeah. i don't know fan relay car hadn't been driven since outlaw mageddon so uh it overheated a little bit but any 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 real car enthusiast has done this right like it happens and, and we're coasting yep i play this game quite frequently in my dodge stealth because of the same weird deal fans work when they want Man, it's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> I can't even remember. I still play the run out of fuel all the time. Oh yeah. But it's been a while since I've played this one. <laughs> it's so quiet. Yeah, it is. Can't even hear it running, huh? <laughs> Man, this is me off. But yeah. now it'll get some love. Yep. You know what I mean? We thought that it's been sitting there and it's been ready. Obviously it hasn't been ready. Yeah. It's been sitting there. It's pretty cool out and right now it's getting some air going through the, the radiator.
So obviously you have the golf clubs. You're <laughs> you're the king of the streets. I think that you know I'm pretty good at golf. So we're gonna go hit some golf balls. How about oh, man. that? Uh, I'm, you're gonna have, definitely have something to teach me. I can teach no you. And plus, it. Aiden no just doubt. got done playing baseball, so he showed he up. He did. So we're gonna take Aiden to hit some balls, yeah. and uh, we're gonna go down to Early Wine, and uh, we're gonna get to driving a big wheel car. And I've never got to drive, so we're gonna bump you, some kicker. You're fixing to fall in love. Yeah. I hope, like man. Riding on a big couch. <laughs> well, let's do it. Even stock, it still sounds good. Yeah. You remember like the streetfire.net? You remember that website? Oh, yeah. That's where we used to watch all of our videos. Yeah, from. I know. And then YouTube said, no, we're going to f*** y'all up. We're going to take it all over. Yeah. Do you remember streetfire.net? No. no. I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm from the was born. Yeah, I was like, you're a little bitty or not even around yet. So, Aiden, you going to drive one of the uh, black cars one day? You going to drive them over? No, I want to make my own car. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's going to drive one of them. Yeah. At least once. It's taken him a while to get. He doesn't want to be known as my son. I get that. And it, yeah, no, I, to feel. I, I, I understand. Yeah, at the end of the day, you didn't have a normal childhood, you know? You didn't do kid stuff. Well, it took him a while. Uh, whenever we were, he was real little, he used to always get upset and he'd not want to go places with me because oh, nobody pictures. would leave you alone. Yeah. yeah. And so we, we'd be at uh, races and stuff whenever he was little. And he'd say, where can we go where people will leave us alone and we can just watch the cars? Right. And I'm like, like nowhere. But he's he's grown to understand that that's part of it, yep. and he's learned how to deal with it. And now that he's been on the YouTube quite a bit, it's uh, I, I believe it's helping it's helping him out. When we first started doing the YouTube, and I had him come out and start doing some stuff, it was brutal, <laughs> brutal to get him to say anything. Right. He'd clam up, and it was like that camera changed the person that he was. And I'm like, you can't let a camera or people yeah, or yeah. anything change, change who you are. Be be yourself. Yep. No matter if there's a camera on, no matter who's around, don't be scared to say what you want to say in front of even the person you're talking about. For sure. You learn to not even see the cameras yep. and, and everything should come natural. And I feel like people see genuine. I agree. People see real. They know it's real. Or when you're TVing it up or playing nope. it out. Hey, yeah. don't let the wind catch your hat and be gone. Suck them glasses That's and everything good. off. Those pit vipers will be gone. Yeah. Obviously, you've grown up around all of this, right? So, all the personalities of the show, the TV show, the racing, like, this is your life. You don't know anything but this life. So, of all that crazy stuff you've been around of, is there one moment that really sticks out your head? Being street. The real stuff. Real stuff. You know? Not the TV stuff. And, and, and that's what he wants to do too, you know, which I'm fine with it. It's inevitable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Happen. As long as I teach him the right way to do it and the smart way to do it, yep. it it's as safe as possible. Yep. It's still dangerous. I get that. Yep. But it's as safe as it can possibly be the way that we do it. It's crazy to think where that stuff started to where it's at now. Yeah. You know, and that's that's one of the majority questions that I get asked is, did you ever think when this started you'd be where you're at? Yeah. But I also am a firm believer that the show didn't make me who I am. Absolutely not. And that's the reason I can be so versified in, 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 in all the different cultures that I love, man. I love lowriders, I love donks, I love, you know, there's, it's the car culture that I love, yep. you know, and, and I love everything about it. And I've said it before, I came from a car show background. Right. That's what my parents loved, and that's what my dad did, was fixed up cars, and we would go to car shows and stuff. And that's what I started out doing until I got in my first street race. And, and then after that, that, what was the age you got in your first street race? Oh, shit, I was already, I was already grown. Oh, really? Like, I was 25. Okay. What kind of car was it in? 69 Camaro. It had the original blower and all that stuff that went in the OG motor. Oh, it, really? It was the same motor. I pulled it out of the small tire car and put it in a big tire car. Wow. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah. I could run uh, 10 O's in that Camaro smoking, the, you know, right. spinning the tires the whole way on a 10-5 slick. I put it in the Nova and, man, we stopped spinning. You yeah, know? freaking awesome. And then the next thing you know, you need more power. Oh, yeah, it's a drug. You need more more. Well, we're at Early Wine Golf Course. South Oklahoma City. The driving range is just full. So uh, let's go have some fun. What? Watch it. I watched it. I got hey, some balls. It's gonna take, it gonna, right into the wind. It's Oklahoma, it's man. It's gonna take a lot off my ball. It's Oklahoma, it's always <laughs> windy. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, I, I've got all the excuses. Hang on. Well, I gotta warm up, man. I'm old. My my bones are old. <sighs> See, look. look See, I can't even hit a golf ball. No, you hit the ball really good. Huh? You hit the ball good. That was. I should quit after that one. I, prom I promise. No, I should. <laughs> well, it's time to get out of here. Yeah, did you guys get that one? Because I pissed on that ball. I won't get another one. Get low. Dude, you're fing ripping it. It's that 55 inch driver. <laughs> you're going to hit it before we leave. I'll hit it lefty. You said that you. Uh, I can hit lefty. Hit both ways, so. I can swing both ways. I've heard that about you. <laughs> So I think today, you know, was awesome. Thank you again for having us out and showing us all your cool toys and showing the TRC fans what you got. And uh, obviously everybody needs to go uh, subscribe to his channel, 187 Customs. Um, they're doing the YouTube thing and there's a lot of really, really cool content on there. If you like some of the stuff you've seen today, be sure to go subscribe. And Sean, thank you again. And Well, we appreciate you guys, you know, and we're, we're fans of y'all's YouTube channel. So it, it'll be exciting to see something different from what Phantom always puts out of what we're doing. We appreciate you guys coming out, you know, and hopefully some of your followers will like the, the content that we have, you know, and I mean, uh, big wheel racing, you know, that's a cool thing. That's kind of an up and coming sport and they're building that badass big wheel car with a 427 LSX and a big turbo. So you guys definitely go check that out. Thanks, sir. We got a whole lot of stuff coming up too. So.